morning, Harmony and Consolidated. It's Mr. Calvert again. Um, I'm coming you to I'm coming to you today with another artist of the day. Um, this is actually an artist that I've never talked about before, so I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. And his name is Robert Longo. Robert Longo. And Robert, he's still alive. He is a contemporary artist, and he is 67 years old. And he's a painter and drawer, and he comes from Brooklyn, New York. And Brooklyn is like a suburb of New York City. So right here, we would be right about here, the South Central Wisconsin. Now, Robert, the way he goes about making his artwork is he starts with a photograph. Um, and you'll notice that oftentimes his people are in very weird positions. Um, it almost looks like they've been hit or they're dancing or um, they're like lurching around. Um, so they have like a lot of movement to their to his artworks. So typically he starts with a photograph and then he takes that photograph and um, puts it on a projector and blows it up so it's really, really large. And then from there he uh, moves it over to a sheet of paper or over to a canvas. So it kind of enables him to kind of draw out that general shape and where um, some highlights and shadows should be. Notice on the people's clothing, typically their clothing is just like one solid color. So the suit, we don't really see any highlights or shadows, it's just a really black black. Then when we see like the skin, it becomes much more detailed. It kind of reminds me of Amy Sherald. I talked about her a couple of weeks ago as one of our artists of the days, how typically her clothing looked very flat, but then the skin once again looked very detailed. Um, you'll notice too that the people he decides to draw and paint are typically dressed really nicely. They're either in suits or they're in um, nice skirts or dresses. Um, so they look like business people. And he'll also always use a white black, uh, white background. And then he places that person right in the middle of that. So it really has a lot of contrast to it. It really catches your eye. And he also uses a lot of assistance too to help him work. They kind of lay like those first few layers of paint or drawing. And then he comes in and um, adds the really nice finishing details to it. Um, so here's some more examples of his work. Notice the different movement throughout their body. Even though this is a drawing or a painting, um, so it's not technically moving, because of the positions of their bodies, they have a lot of movement to them. Um, you can tell that something has hit them or that he's moving um, his body in a certain way. Um, he does women too. Notice she's also dressed really nicely. That black is super duper black. There's no highlights or shadows or creases that we can see. But then her blouse, you can see it's very detailed on that. Um, so they're really fun. Some of the positions are too hard for his people to hold too. So he'll actually have them like lay on the ground and photograph them so they don't tip over. Um, so he does do um, photographs a couple different ways. He'll also do like series of people where um, he'll do the same person over and over, kind of in different positions. And then here we see one more of this woman. All right, so that was Robert Longo. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about him. Kind of a cool artist, um, seeing so much movement in his paintings and drawings. All right, have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.